Hello friends, Marcy here, and I previously made a video sharing my Sailor uh, color changing inks. Um, so far I have shared with you and swatched these three, Lazare Gokoro, Kokoro Guma, and Hana Gokoro. Um, and they were swatched in my Warango um, swatch book. Look at, these look like just desert scenery. That one had a water drop on it at a later time. Um, these look like desert sceneries. This ink is so fun. So there's three of them. And the reason I am sharing again is I have been trying to collect um, these inks that I swatched uh, May of 2023. This was an uh, ink flight um, subscription box from Ink Journal, uh, Tom Otto. And there were seven inks, all sailor uh, color changing inks. Um, and so I decided I want to collect the bottles. And when I first started searching, they were like out of order where, where I had searched. But I had managed to find, I put a B over here on the margin um, if I have the bottle. So those two I've shared with you. Um, this one I've ordered. I haven't received it yet. That will be coming up um, on a video soon. And then this one, so I already have this one. This one I put a B because I just received this bottle of the Suki Gokoro. And it's funny because this is the first one that I wanted. I've been looking for the longest. Um, and then I was able to find the Date Gokoro, which is a gorgeous purple. Um, but I just want to collect the, mainly the browns and greens and then that purple. I'm not interested in really collecting right now or looking for the Shito Shito or the uh, Shikori uh, Zaza. Um, I have plenty of blue inks and I'm not really interested in adding those to my collection yet. But you never know, I may change my mind later. Anyway, so we're going to swatch the... Um, looking for my ruler that I usually use to open my bottles. And I know it's... Um, it's on my painting table right now. Um, okay, Suki Gokoro. And I'm just going to add it to the Waringo book. And I'm also going to be um, adding it to my um, Rolodex with my color Rolodex cards. Um, I've got to get that updated. So I have that out. I'm going through my inks to see which ones I have already... Um, added and which ones I need to add. So, and today I'm using um, the Kakamori, the stainless steel nib. I usually use the brass one, the softer one, just to lay down the color here. And hopefully while I'm writing the name, you can watch um, the ink dry. So when I'm looking at it on paper, it's looking uh, more like a dark teal green to me. And on the camera, it's looking um, dark blue-gray. So uh, as that dries, we'll be able to see some... I already see it happening right here in the bottom corner. Um, let me share that with you real quick. This is fun. <laughs> so we have some drying happening and the color changing going on. Um, and to write the name, I'm going to be using the new uh, Kak Kakamori dip nib that I got because I really gave my other ones a workout and found I wasn't as satisfied with them after some time as I wanted to be. So I'm attempting to use a new um, dip nib and I've, I've got to give it the same amount of treatment and use before I can actually make that uh, decision. So Suki Gokoro um, I did share it with you once, but again, uh, I can't really compare its performance because it hasn't had uh, full usage like my other nibs have. All right, I'm going to cap this um, bottle real quick so I don't want to have a mishap. And let's look at some ink drying. You can already tell. Isn't this so pretty? That was my favorite one on the samples. Goodness, it's just, it looks like it has a lot of texture in it. Um, and then what's happening here in the lettering. Every time I move, I get it out of focus, sorry. So um, the word sailor is already turned like a rust color. 
brown. We still have quite a bit of green in uh, Suki and Gokoro because they are still yet wet. And when I got to Gokoro, the ink was getting um, fainter or less saturated there. Um, it looks like it's mostly saturated on the word Suki. So right um, now I do not have uniform uh, placement of ink with the new nib. I'll be testing that out to let you know. And I am um, going to be adding uh, my inks to my Colodex, um cards for the Rolodex. I've got to update that. Some time ago, I already stamped the back of my cards with the ink pen stamp. Um, I've also ordered some more of those that I need to share with you. And um, the back is so I could record what inks I use, um, like I did in my journal, which I'm behind on. But just to show you or remind you what that looked like, let me... So this is my Edelstein Rose Quartz, and where it's really dark, there is that green that um, you can see when it's in the glass bottle. So I just wrote it with a dip pen, um, did some line variations here because that was that uh, Kakamori nib, and I could. And then on the back, I was going to record the pens, which it's been in a couple pens, and I'm behind on that. So, yeah, I and I did add, I did color coordinate them. I have my, oh, I'm at the end. I have them grouped by um, color. So my blacks, grays, purples, blues, greens, yellow, orange. There we go. So kind of go with the rainbow thing. And, um. I just knocked a couple of these out. So as I as this uh, gets filled up and it's tighter with the cards, they'll stay in better. But I do like this system, um, the card system anyway. Whether or not I like the delivery of the Rolodex yet, it still uh, remains to be seen. But I do like having the cards. They may end up coming out and just um, going into a box. So uh, check back with me later for an update on my... Um, Rolodex cards. Let's see. See, I, I did actually use it <laughs> to record um, a pen on the back of the ink card. So that's my intention to do on all the cards as I ink them. I'll record them in my um, ink inventory journal and on the cards. We'll see how that goes. Let's take one more peek at this dry ink. It's fun, fun, fun to do the um, color changing. And when that third or when that um, fifth ink comes in, I'll be sure to share it with you. Okay, still not in focus. Okay, Sailor. Suki. Gokoro. So this is what it looks like um, using the Kakamori dip nib on Tomoe River paper in the Endless Recorder, which is a 68 uh, GSM weight. And here's what it looks like on the Colodex. Um, card for the Rolodex system. You can really see the color where the line variation is um, wider. I like that. Um, it's easier to see to the naked eye than it is on the camera. And I'm kind of sad about that. Let's see if changing the light would help. Anyway, fabulous fun ink. Thank you for spending some of your precious moments with me. Give a blessed day. Bye-bye.